नमस्कार इन द सीरीज ऑफ लिटरेरी क्रिटिसिजम टुडे यू आर गोइंग टू हैव अ लेक्चर ऑन डॉक्टर सैमुअल जॉनसन प्री फेस टू शेक्सपियर वाई डिड ही एडिट शेक्सपियर प्लेज वट वर द प्रॉब्लम देर वर सेवरल एडिशन ऑफ शेक्सपियर प्लेज वाई सैमुअल जॉनसन took such a huge task to edit shakespeare's plays before the edition of shakespeare's plays dr samuel johnson had written a prologue prologue for david garrick to deliver at the opening of the theater royal drury lane the picture that you are seeing here this is the image of Drury Lane Theatre, and it was going to open in 1747. And for this opening ceremony, Dr. Samuel Johnson wrote a prologue for David Garrick. That prologue was to be delivered in 19 uh, 1747. And here he wrote when. learning triumph over her barbarous foes first reared the stage immortal shakespeare rose right shakespeare was immortal immortal shakespeare came to the scenario when the world was changing from barbarous age to the age of civilization shakespeare appeared each change of many colored life he drew exhausted worlds and then imagined new existence saw him spend her bounded reign and painting time toils after him in vain this was the definition of william shakespeare that uh, dr samuel johnson wrote in 1747 much before the writing of a preface to shakespeare almost 20 years before he had written such statements and dr samuel johnson was a devotee of william shakespeare even from the age of childhood he had tried he had started to master william shakespeare and when he was merely a child he had read shakespeare's hamlet aur aisa kaha jata hai ki bachpan mein hamlet ka bhoot उनको डराता रहता था डॉक्टर सैमुअल जॉनसन को राइट नियरली ट्वेंटी इयर्स लेटर आफ्टर दिस इन 1765 जॉनसन एडिशन ऑफ शेक्सपियर वॉज पब्लिस्ड एंड इन हिज प्रीफेस जॉनसन क्लेम्स फॉर शेक्सपियर द स्टेटस ऑफ एन एंसेंट मींस द स्टेटस ऑफ द क्लासिकल ही हैज ऑलरेडी स्टूड द टेस्ट ऑफ टाइम ऑल अदर मोटिव पर्सनल आर अल्टीरियर for acclaiming him but that his works give pleasure have passed away right have passed away and he is still relevant he is still being performed his plays are still being watched so what are the requirements why such plays why shakespeare's plays are still in fashion or still look at they are shakespeare was the poet of nature shakespeare wrote the life of man shakespeare was not a classical writer shakespeare was not limited to any classical formula but shakespeare created his own formula shakespeare never believed in any precept in any theory he never believed in any unity right he never believed in the concept of tragic and comedy comedy separate uh, entities tragedy and comedy kya kiya shakespeare ne shakespeare ne dono ko mix karne ka काम कर दिया था हिज करेक्टर्स एक्ट एंड स्पीक बाय द इन्फ्लुएंस ऑफ दो जनरल पैशन एंड प्रिंसिपल बाय विच ऑल माइंड आर एजुटेटेड जॉनसन डिराइव दिस पॉइंट होम बाय अ फोर्सफुल कंट्रास्ट फॉर अंडर एनी अदर डायरेक्शन देन दैट ऑफ शेक्सपियर द थिएटर इज पीपल्ड बाय सच करेक्टर्स एज वर नेवर सीन थिएटर्स आर पीपल्ड बाय सच करेक्टर्स एज वर नेवर सीन conversing in language that was never heard upon topics that will never arise in the commerce of mankind 
lamenting the artificial excess of emotion and posture in contemporary drama he insists that william shakespeare's characters act and speak in such a way that his drama is the mirror of life right shakespeare's drama is described by dr samuel johnson as mirror of life rebutting the charge of the french critics like denis and rimer that shakespeare's romans are insufficiently romans right shakespeare ke roman characters ke liye kaha jata tha ki shakespeare ke jo roman characters hain they are insufficiently romans and uh, डॉक्टर सैमुअल जॉनसन रिप्लाइज क्या जवाब देते हैं वो कि हिज स्टोरी शेक्सपियर स्टोरी रिक्वायर्स रोमन्स आर किंग्स बट ही थिंक्स ओनली ऑन मैन हिज स्टोरी रिक्वायर्स रोमन्स आर किंग्स बट ही थिंक्स ओनली ऑन मैन जॉनसन वंस मोर डिफेंड शेक्सपियर मिंगलिंग ऑफ ट्रेजेडिक एंड कॉमेडी एंड इट वॉज ऑल्सो डिफेंडेड बाई जॉन ट्राइडन इन हिज वर्क and is say on dramatic poetry since the end of writing is to instruct and the end of poetry is, is to instruct by pleasing since mingled drama is truer to life and uh, anyway all pleasure consists in variety the case is irrefutable drama should be must be intermingled to create pleasure right what is universal in the motives and feelings of shakespeare kar raha shakespearean characters it transcends what is historically ephemeral the stream of line which is continually washing away the dissolute fabrics of other poets passes without injury by the adamant shakespeare right his preface to shakespeare proposal when he proposed when he made the proposal of uh, editing shakespeare's plays in 1756 he had published his proposals for an edition of shakespeare hoping to complete the work by the end of the following year 1756 mein ek proposal taiyar kiya tha इस उम्मीद के साथ कि अगले साल तक वो कंप्लीट कर देंगे शेक्सपियर के प्लेस को बट ही कुड नॉट इट टोक मोर देन एट इयर्स व्हेन द एट वॉल्यूम्स एट लेंथ अपीयर्ड इन 1765 द सब्सक्राइबर्स नेम वर नॉट इंक्लूडेड इन देम व्हाई बिकॉज फॉर दिस ऑमिशन जॉनसन गेव हिज ओन रीजन और उनका रीजन ये था he he had lost the names and he spent the names and money paise pehle le liye the paise kharch ho gaye aur naam ki list gayab ho gayi isliye na to subscriber ka naam tha aur inhone subscribers ka naam likha hi nahi tha right so from 1756 to 1765 he worked on shakespeare's plays and finally kitne volumes mein publish hua published in Eight volumes. So this was the proposal. And earlier he had written an essay on Shakespeare's Macbeth under the title "Miscellaneous Observations on the Tragedy of Macbeth." Tragedy of Macbeth के miscellaneous observations पर एक ऐसे पहले ही वो लिख चुके थे in around 1744-75. So from that day only. he had the idea in his mind to edit shakespeare's plays in order to make a true estimate of the abilities and merit of a writer it is always necessary to examine the genius of his age and the opinions of his contemporaries jo maine aapko last class mein bataya tha ki agar aapko judge karna hai kisi ko then you should transport yourself राइट right, आपने आपको ट्रांसपोर्ट करना है कहां पर टू द टाइम ऑफ द राइटर टू द टाइम ऑफ द पोएट टू द टाइम ऑफ द ड्रामेटिस्ट अ पोएट हु शुड नाउ मेक द होल एक्शन ऑफ हिस्स ट्रेजिडी डिपेंड अपॉन इंटेंटमेंट एंड प्रोड्यूस द चीफ इवेंट्स बाय द असिस्टेंस ऑफ सुपर नेचुरल इवेंट्स वुड बी सेंशर्ड एज ट्रांसग्रेसिंग द बाउंड ऑफ प्रोबेबिलिटी हो सकता है कि उस वक्त उसकी जरूरत रही हो जो उसने किया है आज उसकी जरूरत ना रह गई हो कोई नहीं 
आइए रिक्वायरमेंट क्या थी जरूरत क्या थी क्यों उन्होंने शेक्सपियर के प्लेस को एडिट करने की सोचा फर्स्ट इट इज हिज बिजनेस टू करेक्ट व्हाट इज करप्ट एंड द सर्कमस्टांसिस ऑफ राइटिंग ऑफ शेक्सपियर प्लेस मेड दिस अ डिफिकल्ट टास्क सिंस दे वर विशिएटेड बाय द ब्लेंडर्स ऑफ द पेनमैन changed by the affectations of the player and printed without concurrence of the author right pehla kaam ye tha to rectify the plays to rectify the dialogues because they were edited by several authors several penmen and according to their purpose they had changed a lot right changed by the affectation of the player second jo purpose tha uska secondly shakespeare presented many obscurities which it was the commentator's duty to elucidate especially the obscurities inherent in shakespeare's common colloquial language with its allusive elliptical and proverbial phrases ye second tha ki shakespeare wrote in the colloquial language aur usko improve karna and third was lastly in order to appreciate shakespeare's use of his sources the editor must read the story in the very book which shakespeare consulted editor ko wo book padhni chahiye jahan se shakespeare ne sources ko liya hai aur isliye shakespeare ke plays ke edition ki requirement thi and first phase par he talks about the greatness of william shakespeare second phase par he defends shakespeare's uh, tragic comedies and then he defends shakespeare's violation of unities and then he talks about shakespeare's demerits right first shakespeare's greatness shakespeare is great how how was shakespeare great shakespeare is great because in his work there is just representation of human nature shakespeare is great because he deals with general human nature his characters are faithful representations of humanity his characters come from our community right his characters have the etiquettes have the manners have the uh, ways of life jaise ki normal man ki hoti hai और नॉर्मल मैन को अपने प्लेस में लेना ये बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट था हिज करेक्टर्स आर यूनिवर्सल बट दे आर इंडिविजुअल आल्सो। दिस इज द स्पेशल क्वालिटी ऑफ शेक्सपियर कि शेक्सपियर मेक्स एन इंडिविजुअल यूनिवर्सल एक इंडिविजुअल को यूनिवर्सल बनाने का काम शेक्सपियर ही कर सकता था एंड दे आर ट्रू टू दियर एज सेक्स आर प्रोफेशन to which they belong his characters are not exaggerated he has no heroes but only human beings this is a very important line he has no heroes but only human beings ek jagah aap comedy ke bare mein ruskin ne kaha tha shakespeare has no heroes only heroines in comedies and dr johnson says shakespeare has no heroes he has only human beings his heroes are common man he has the common characteristics jo ek aam aadmi mein hoti hai wahi shakespeare ke heroes mein hoti hai aur yahi shakespeare ki greatness hai shakespeare is great because he talks about human nature his characters are universal he picks an individual and universalizes him and his language is very much simple and understandable to all shakespeare mixes tragic comedy and john johnson defends his mixing of tragic comedy in the use of tragic comedy shakespeare is true to nature because in life tragedy and comedy runs parallel right in the last class i told you that johnson was not in favor of such demarcation tragedy or comedy hona chahiye kya hona chahiye tragedy and comedy should be uh, should be judged according to their effects yahan par 
प्रीफेस में क्या कह रहे हैं कि ट्रेजिक कॉमेडी में शेक्सपियर इज ट्रू टू नेचर इन रियल लाइफ देर इज द मिंगलिंग ऑफ द गुड एंड एविल जॉयस एंड सरोज टीयर्स एंड स्माइल्स एंड सो इन मिक्सिंग ट्रेजिडी एंड कॉमेडी शेक्सपियर मेनली होल्ड्स a mirror of nature and for dr samuel johnson drama is the mirror of nature drama nature ka hi mirror hota hai and shakespeare's tragic comedies presents the reality of the life there is no life jisme sirf aur sirf tragedy ho kuch comic na ho ya sirf comic ho kuch tragic na ho so it is very close to reality and dr samuel johnson was writing in the age of prose and reason he was very much closer to the reality and that's why he seeks the that proximity with nature right or wo proximity with nature shakespeare ke plays mein dikhai deti hai this is also one of the regions of shakespeare's greatness the tragic comedy is nearer to life than either tragedy or comedy and so it combines within itself the pleasure as well as the instruction of both the interchange of the serious and happiness gay of the comic and tragic does not interrupt the progress of the passion it does not result in any weakening of effect in fact it is uh, kya kaam karta hai it solidifies the performance aur ye humko प्ले को मोनिटेनस होने से बचा लेता है ट्रेजिक एंड कॉमिक मर्थ एंड लाफ्टर मर्थ लाफ्टर एंड ट्रेजिक सीन सारो कैन गो पैरल एज दे गो पैरल इन आर लाइफ राइट सो ऑन दीज ग्राउंड डॉक्टर सैमुअल जॉनसन डिफरेंट शेक्सपियर ट्रेजिक कॉमेडीज राइट एंड देन शेक्सपियर कॉमिक जीनियस फॉल्स ऑफ हिस्स ट्रेजिडीज कहते क्या है डॉक्टर सैमुअल जॉनसन कि शेक्सपियर को ट्रेजिडी नहीं लिखना चाहिए शेक्सपियर को ट्रेजिडी नेचुरली नहीं आती क्या आता है नेचुरली शेक्सपियर को नेचुरली कॉमेडी आती है कॉमेडी केम टू हिम नेचुरली कॉमेडी केम नेचुरल टू हिम नॉट ट्रेजिडी बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट स्टेटमेंट है ध्यान रखिएगा इन ट्रेजिडी राइट विद ग्रेट अपियरेंस ऑफ टॉयल and study what is written at last with little felicity but in comic scenes he seems to produce without labor what no labor can improve while writing tragedy shakespeare is forced to work hard shakespeare is forced to read a lot but while in comedy comedy comes naturally to him so he has to लेबर लेस और जहां पर लेस लेबर और मोर इमेजिनेशन हो दैट इज प्योर इन द व्यूज ऑफ डॉक्टर सैमुअल जॉनसन और ये भी एक लॉजिक है कॉमिक होने का डिफेंस करने का हिज कॉमिक सीन्स आर नेचुरल एंड दियर फॉर ड्यूरेबल द लैंग्वेज ऑफ हिज कॉमिक सीन्स इज द लैंग्वेज ऑफ रियल लाइफ राइट कॉमिक सीन की लैंग्वेज रियल लाइफ की लैंग्वेज होती है और जो ट्रेजिक सीन की लैंग्वेज होती है दैट इज नॉट द लैंग्वेज ऑफ रियल लाइफ बट दैट इज द लैंग्वेज ऑफ हाई क्लास पीपल अरिस्टोक्रेटिक पीपल एंड शेक्सपियर हेल्स फ्रॉम अ वेरी सिंपल इन्वायरमेंट नेचुरल इन्वायरमेंट सो कॉमेडी इज वेरी नेचुरल टू हिम देन ही टॉक्स अबाउट दी फॉल्स ऑफ विलियम शेक्सपियर राइट नॉट ओनली द पॉजिटिव बट ही ऑल्सो टॉक्स अबाउट द निगेटिव ऑफ विलियम शेक्सपियर उनकी निगेटिव क्या है उनकी निगेटिव ये है कि शेक्सपियर के प्लॉट जो होते हैं दे आर नॉट वेरी मच कॉम्प्लेक्स प्लॉट वेरी लूज प्लॉट होते हैं एंड शेक्सपियर प्रेफर कन्वीनियंस टू एनी फॉर्मूला एंड फॉर द सेक ऑफ कन्वीनियंस ही कैन सेक्रीफाइस एनी थिंग ही सेक्रीफाइस virtue to convenience and for dr samuel johnson virtue is preferable to convenience because he was a moralist and a moralist seeks morality everywhere and shakespeare was no professor are no professor of morality Pro morality ki baat nahi karte shakespeare talks about only entertainment so for the sake of convenience he sacrifices virtue and it's so much more careful to please 
than to instruct according to samuel johnson the objective last end of the objective hona kya chahiye it should be instructive instruction dena hona chahiye but for shakespeare pleasure is everything shakespeare never focuses on preaching but only pleasing is his object this is the fault of william shakespeare as was suggested by told by dr samuel johnson all right second fault kya shakespeare ki his plots are loosely formed shakespeare was no great uh, student of cambridge university or oxford university he was not a university bits so he takes the plot he writes the plays as suits to the audience jo ऑडियंस को सूट करे उसके अकॉर्डिंग लिखते हैं इसलिए शेक्सपियर्स के प्लास बहुत लूज होते हैं एंड इस ग्राउंड को भी फॉल्ट मानते हैं डॉक्टर सैमुअल जॉनसन थर्ड क्या है देर आर मेनी फॉल्ट ऑफ क्रोनोलॉजी एंड मेनी एनाक्रोनिज्म इन हिस्स प्लेस खास करके हिस्ट्री प्लेस में बहुत सारे क्रोनोलॉजिकल फॉल्ट होते हैं शेक्सपियर ने वर स्ट्रिक्स टू द डेट्स or because he was not the student of history and shakespeare was not talking about the reality he was writing plays so date se kya lena dena hai but dr samuel johnson ke according shakespeare dates ke sath bhi khilwad karta hai that is one more fault then the next fault is that often his jokes are gross and licentious jo shakespeare ke jokes hote hain they are not only funny but they are abusive they यूज सेक्सी लैंग्वेजेस और वो भी एक फॉल्ट है अकॉर्डिंग टू मिस्टर डॉक्टर सैमुअल जॉनसन और शायद इसलिए भी उन्होंने एडिट किया होगा शेक्सपियर के प्लेस को इन इज नरेशन देर इज मच पंप ऑफ डिक्शन एंड सर कम लोकेशन राइट इन हिज नरेशन वेन इन नरेट देर आर सो मेनी वर्ड्स दे आर वर्बोज जो नरेट करते हैं एंड दे की रिपीटिंग अरे आज है रिपीटिंग द आइडिया that is circumlocution what he does best he soon ceases to do and whatever shakespeare starts doing best he suddenly stops to do best ek ek rok dete hain kyu rok dete hain because he seeks pleasure unko pleasure chahiye entertainment chahiye or shakespeare is highly obsessive of a figure of speech that is pun and pun means play on words aur us play ko dr samuel johnson kya bolte hain fatal cleopatra cleopatra proved to be fatal for antony or antony died because of cleopatra in the same way pun ke hota hai shakespeare ke sath pun is compared with cleopatra fatal cleopatra or shakespeare is not only obsessive but shakespeare is very much fond of this figure of speech pun he is too fond of puns and quibbles for a pun he sacrifices reason propriety and truth anything can be sacrificed for the sake of pun ye shakespeare ki faults hai fault number 1 he sacrifices virtue to convenience point number 2 his plots are loose point number 3 faults in chronology A point number four, uh, jokes are gross and licentious. Point number five, his narration, a uh, pomp of diction and circumlocution. And next, what he what pleases, what he does best, he soon ceases to do. And next, he was the victim of pun, right? And for the sake of pun, he could sacrifice anything. So these are the faults given by Dr. Samuel Johnson in his preface to. Shakespeare these are the demerits of Shakespeare faults of Shakespeare and then he comes to the unities the three unities and out of three unities Dr Samuel Johnson says that the only unity that is to be followed was unity of action and Shakespeare has followed unity of action Aristotle never talked about unity of time and unity of place it was the mischief of french and italian critics and shakespeare was not bound to follow pehli baat to ise yahi kehta hai samuel johnson ki jahan tak unity ki baat hai shakespeare ke history plays mein unity ka koi matlab hi nahi hai because unity is jo hai wo concept hi tragedy aur comedy ka hai history ka hai hi nahi 
his histories being neither comedies nor tragedies are not subject to the classic rules of criticism which were devised for tragedies and comedies. The only unity they need, ek math unity jis ki need hoti ha, wo hai consistency ke and naturalness ki incorrect ho and this Shakespeare has imparted to them. In his other works, he has well maintained the unity of accent. He is the poet of nature and his plots have the complexity and variety of nature. But his plots have a beginning, a middle and an end. One event is logically connected with another. And if one event is logically connected with another, then what is the requirement of unity of time and place? Or he shows no regard for the unities of time and place. And these unities have given more trouble to the poet than pleasure to the auditor. Right? These two unities, unities of place and unity of time, they create a hurdle. They do not give pleasure, but they give boredom. They create problem for the auditor, for the audience. Drama is a delusion. And delusion has no limits. This spect the spectator knows that the stage is the stage, not and the actors are actors. Drama to drama hai bhai. Hum ye kyo maan le ki drama mein jo ho raha hai, wo real hai. French critics ka yehi to maan na tha ki agar unity ko follow karege, to drama will be closer to reality. And Dr. Samuel Johnson thinks that why drama is delusion. And every audience knows that he is watching a play, he is watching a Hamlet being performed on the stage and he knows that this character is David Garrick, this character is uh, Edmund Keynes and this character is not Hamlet, he is playing the role of Hamlet. And when he is doing this, he can do this as Hamlet, he can do this as he was born and he has become a big fan. This is not a delusion, he can also think that now he was uh, in Rome a few times, a few uh, hours before, or uh, he is now in Egypt. So, he can think of this as well. He can think of everything, like he can think of 5 minutes, or he can think of 5 years. Ki bhi soch sakta hai. So, there is no need of unity of time and unity of place. The unity of time also has no validity. A drama imitates successive actions, and just as they may be represented at successive places, so also they may be represented at different periods separated by several years. Drama is delusion and delusion doesn't have reality or reality nahi hoti. So and uh, the audience, the spectator knows that he is watching a play. Wo play dekh raha hai, so he can't conceive anything. Only one unity is required and that is unity of action and Shakespeare follows it beautifully. Shakespeare follows it perfectly and rest of the unities are merely pomp and show and Shakespeare is the nature's poet. Shakespeare is very close to nature. So why such uh, pretentious things? Ye defense of violation of unities hai Dr. Samuel Johnson ka. Alright, kuch confusion ho to comment box is open for you. This is the appreciation of William Shakespeare in the words of Dr. Samuel Johnson. Shakespeare is above all writers, at least above all modern writers. The poet of nature, the poet that holds up to his readers a faithful mirror of manners and life. Shakespeare kaun hai? Shakespeare is the greatest poet, right? Shakespeare is the greatest poet, at least he is above all the modern poets. And his dramas kya hai? Mirror of manners and of life. His characters are not modified by the customs of particular places, unpracticed by the rest of the world, by the peculiarities of his studies or professions which can operate but upon small numbers or by the accidents of transient fashions or temporary opinions. They are the genuine progeny of common humanity. 
such as the world will always supply and observations will always find. His persons act and speak by the influence of those general passions and principles by which all minds are agitated and the whole system of life is continued in motion. In the writing of other poets, a character is too often an individual. In those of Shakespeare, it is commonly a species. Shakespeare never talks about an individual. He talks about a species. His characters are human beings. His language is simple. And this is the greatness of Shakespeare. That's why Shakespeare is above all writers, at least of above all the modern writers. Though, this statement here about Shakespeare by Johnson. This is the function of a play. As I told you earlier, the end of writing is to instruct and the end of poetry is to instruct by pleasing. Now, Shakespeare's, uh, Dr. Samuel Johnson's essay on Kitty's uh, preface to Shakespeare concludes here. I have discussed Shakespeare's, Dr. according to Johnson's merits, Shakespeare's demerits, his violation of unities, his Samuel Johnson's defense of unities, Samuel Johnson's defense of Shakespeare's tragic comedies. Right, tragic comedies of Shakespeare are highly criticized by French critics and Dr. Samuel Johnson defended Shakespeare's use of tragedy and comedy. Right, unki mixing ko wahan pe defend kya hai Dr. Samuel Johnson ne. Now, I gave you here the two, uh, two names of two clubs. AV Lane Club and the another is The Club. These two clubs were started by Dr. Samuel Johnson and you have to find out the members of these two clubs and you have to give your answer in your comment box. And then only humko ye bharosa hoga ki you have watched the video fully. Aap ne usko pura dekha hai. Two clubs, the AV Club and the club, you have to give the names of the founding members and the associated members in the comment box. Alright? Thank you so much. All the best. Milte hai next class with new lecture. And new lecture kis par hoga? The time will tell. Okay, bye bye. Like kariyega, share kariyega. Or khub share kariyega. Thoda nahi. Or subscribe bhi kariyega channel ko. Good luck. Thank you.